Welcome to Eklutna Lake. It is basically empty right now because we're here on a Sunday evening in fall. <laughs> and so uh, everybody who was here for the weekend has left and there's only a couple of campsites that have been taken. Our campsite is super close so it's very easy for us to walk here from our campsite. And tonight we're gonna make dinner, make a fire, get warm and dry, and then maybe even try to come hang out here at night and see the stars. Thank you, Justin. Welcome. We used canned sauce, but <laughs> spiced it up a little bit. I'm sure it'll be delicious. You look like a grandma in this shop. <laughs> I look like a grandma? Yes. Why? <laughs> So we just finished doing some time lapses. It's really freaking cold here. Both of us had tripod incidents. Nothing broke when Justin's tripod fell, but when mine went over, it got two huge problems on this lens, which hopefully won't affect image quality too bad. It's a beautiful clear night, gorgeous sky, but I am so excited to crawl into bed. And I'm also super relieved to have dry shoes. I was very concerned about having wet shoes for the rest of the trip, so thank you for the fire, Justin. It is much appreciated. You're welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Good morning. I'm tired. We didn't sleep very well last night. Being back in the tent wasn't the best experience, the condensation there gets everything so wet. It was colder than normal. It, it's longer in the tent, so Justin can stretch his legs out all the way, but it's not as wide, so you feel more constricted. I got super claustrophobic. I was cold for the first time last night, like really cold. So I think from now on, we're just gonna sleep in the car. We're gonna go see the sunrise now. Isn't it beautiful? All the little flares you see like this, that's from the damage to the lens. And when the sun comes in the lens, you can really see it. You can't see it in really any other circumstance, so you can still use the lens. But we're gonna go back and have some breakfast and then go hiking and then fly. This morning we're hiking Twin Peaks Trail. It's 2.8 miles round trip, we think. It just says 2.8 miles. It doesn't say whether or not that's a round trip. It has 1,800 feet in elevation change, and so far it's a really smooth and easy trail to hike. My knee's twinging a little bit, but I have my knee race on, and I feel pretty good. And there's still lots of fall colors. We've got some reds, some yellows. Oh yeah, it's so pretty out here. Mm. It looks like autumn. And it feels like the North freaking Pole. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. Did you try to chat in this one? Yes, <laughs> I sometimes use the audio from this part. <laughs> I was making fun of this trail because they call it moderate. And I was saying, this trail's easy. What are you talking about? Well, the incline has just really picked up the pace and my, my legs are burning. We've returned to winter again. These are the Twin Peaks. I think this is the uh, point of the trail. Is this view? Oh my gosh. Now I feel truly pathetic. Justin has my backpack, but my backpack isn't even that heavy. I need a workout regimen. I left Claire in a safe spot to see if I could get on the ridge, but it keeps keeps going. I can't see the other side. Two more minutes. Justin's been gone for 20 minutes, and I thought 
He was just going to run up the hill a bit and come back. Five minutes, tops. It is taking all my willpower right now to not freak out. I already picked up all of our stuff and started walking up the hill looking for it. But now, at this bench, the trail splits off into three trails. So I can't go any further than this without risking missing him. I'm concerned, very, very concerned. And I also really don't want to have a bear encounter. So, pardon me while I sit here singing. If you were a bear, would you eat a clear? I see the top, almost there. I sure hope not, cause that'd be a scare. If you were a bear, please hug Claire. But not an actual hug, more like a metaphorical hug from far away. I think I made it to the ridge. There's the view. All right, this is awesome. I'm out of breath. I'm going to uh, head back down. This part has so much ice. So I'm doing a clear and sliding down. Whee! <laughs> ah, that one hurt. How was it? Way longer than I expected. I was so worried about you. <laughs> oh my God, you're covered in snow. Are you okay? Uh, I slid the whole way down. There's another view of the lake? Yeah. Nice. Or I ran there? the whole way up and I ran the whole way down. You are sweating. Oh, that's not, that's oh, melted, that melted snow. Justin's alive, thank goodness. We're gonna run down now because we are out of time here and we have to go. <laughs> we haven't been in a hurry for the entire trip basically. and It's been really nice, but we have a helicopter flight to catch at 4.30 and it is like 12.30 and it's a two hour drive away. And we have to get off of this mountain and into the car. All right, that is the end of Twin Peaks Trail. Two and a half hours going up, 45 minutes to come down. So we are here just in time to pack up the car and go. A couple of days ago, we splurged on an incredible flight over Denali National Park. And it was such a cool experience that we've decided to bust the budget even further and go on our very first helicopter ride. I'm not gonna lie, my anxiety was through the roof leading up until this flight. Helicopters have a higher crash rate than airplanes, and I couldn't quite erase that from my mind. Still, Kinnick Glacier felt like a worthwhile place to take a little risk. The big question remaining is, will this flight be worth the $390 per person price tag? The river used to run right here. And then like two months ago, it changed course and it just excavated this big trench out. Be careful, don't go super close to the edge, but it's not a cliff either, so it's, okay. it's, not, it's not real dangerous, but it, it, the edge could slough off. Is your view the sun's kind of gunky it's, on the window it's impossible to see what you're doing in there the ride was cool this canyon right here is only a few months old the river just came in and carved it out <laughs> so it's brand new
I think I built up a lot of adrenaline beforehand being really anxious about it. And then once it flew by so fast, it was like, that's it. If we weren't photographers, I would have enjoyed that a lot more. <laughs> well, that's a shame because I don't want the lack of pictures to get in the way of an experience. But even the experience, and the well, fact then, that there are no COVID protocols here whatsoever, not even the pilot was wearing a mask. And so it just added an extra level of anxiety for us. I think during the summer it would be better. Really? Yeah. Because you'd land on top of the glacier and you have bright blue glacial water. You have dog sleds there. I'm gonna have to think. About I hate it more. to be just. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, and I don't know. I bet. I bet. I bet it'll look cooler on video than it felt. It cost us each four hundred dollars to do that, and I feel like our money went a lot further with the plane ride than it did with this one. Yeah. We're both just in a bad mood. Is that Ish. okay? Is that okay to say? Yeah. Justin is never not happy. Ever. I feel bad for being disappointed. <laughs> I know. I feel like it's wrong that we're disappointed. Like, we shouldn't be disappointed uh. because we just spent a ton of money. But I think part of why I'm disappointed is we spent a ton of money and I just didn't feel like it was worth it. For us. For us. For us personally, we didn't feel like it was worth the money. So now we're just both just sitting in the car on our phones going, what do we do now? Honestly, what I really want is a shower. Yeah? <laughs> That's fair. We're both disgusting. It's uh, starting to stink in here. It's getting gross. Yeah. It is officially getting gross. All right, we are at the Kinnick public use area. It is free to camp here. And they even have little porta potties. And you can just drive up anywhere on the riverbank and settle yourself in. This will be a really cool place for sunrise too. Yeah, you're right. One of my favorite things to do is clean. We were at that point where the car has started smelling. So I have the car open and I'm going through everything and shaking everything out, collecting all of my dirty laundry. I know it probably doesn't look clean on camera, but in comparison to how it was, you just gotta trust me, it, it's better. What'd you make, Justin? I made a recipe with a bunch of leftovers we have. So we have a spinach, tuna, egg, pasta salad. <laughs> <laughs> That gives a whole new meaning to the word hand wash now, doesn't it? We have the car set up to sleep inside because we were really uncomfortable in the tent last night. So we're gonna do car camping for the rest of the trip. After many, many days of going to sleep at midnight or one, we are in bed at 8.30. We're gonna spend the night backing up photos. Good night. See y'all in the morning. I feel so stupid. Justin seems fairly confident that he's going fishing now. 